Hi guys, the fruit boob out here. We're in all kind of a mess. I just tried to do this video and it shut off on me, so let's try it again. Please excuse how I look. It's been a rough week and I've decided to come on here and tell you the continuing saga of the frozen water pipes in a travel trailer. Like most of you know, I live in a travel trailer. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go down there and hit that subscription button and the bell. Okay, I live in a travel trailer and my pipes have frozen because it was a negative 18 wind chills for uh, about a week. This happened exactly a week ago. I woke up to um, my pipes being frozen. So um, they've frozen before on the inside, but not like this. So we um, have been, you know, I have the heat tape, I have everything, all that. Watch the previous video and I'll explain that. Well, it's up to almost 50 degrees for the last few days in the 40s. So it should have unthawed. So it hadn't this morning. It's Sunday. It's been a week. So um, I gotta do this. Sorry, guys. My arm hurt. Um, so my mom called the person who actually set up my travel trailer and dug all the water lines, which happens to be my ex-brother-in-law. And he said he was surprised, too. The only thing he could think of is go in the bedroom. And if you live in a travel trailer, and I'll show you here in a minute, your bed sits up on a platform. Underneath my bed is a storage space, and then it also, at the front of the storage space, separated, is where the water pipes and the pump is. So, um, and where my pipes are. And then he said the rest of the pipes are in between the, are underneath my floors. And then they go, and I can see them come up out of the floor to my kitchen faucet. Then they go across um, underneath my, um, which is my bunk bed area, which I use for a pantry, and then go into the bathroom. So I'm thinking, oh, if these pipes bust underneath my floor, that's it. My travel trailer's toast. It gets water damage like that. You know, you might as well just, you might as well just gut it and get a different one. So he said, lift up this, and I'm going to show you what I mean by your bed is on a platform. Please excuse the mess. My house is not this messy normally. I've had to pretty much rip it apart because of this. But I'm going to show you because maybe this will help somebody who's living in a travel trailer, or maybe you're just interested. But I'm going to show you, then I'm going to go outside and show you what happened today. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you where the water pipes come in and show you what I mean. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. There's a platform on your bed. I mean, that, it, that your, it's your mattress that's on. It opens up like this. You've got storage down here. I've got some blankets and stuff. That's a punch bowl that I can't get rid of because my mom used to get our birthday parties. And we always had punch bowl with, with, so we'd feel fancy with like Kool-Aid in it. It was cool. So anyway, you look down here. I got my, look, I mean, a little, look, I got my, uh-oh, naked, naked uh, cabbage patch doll from my childhood. But anyway, here's where, and then it's separated. And then here's where my pipes are. So there's the water lines and then a pump. Okay? So this comes in and then it goes underneath my floor. And it's going to go underneath my floor. Vroom, 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 through here. I said, excuse the mess. I've been... And then it comes, you know, it comes through here somewhere. Through there. And then here's underneath my sink. You can see the lines. And the lines go up there. And they go up there into my sink. Um... Sorry if that flipped on you. And then they go across and into my bathroom. So I have my taps open and I'm going to go show you what happened. So they weren't on. So he said open that up. Crank my heat up to 80 and see if we can unthaw them. Well, okay. I'm going to tell you what happened. I'm going to turn the camera back around. Okay, so. Let's get some light on my. So, um, I did that. Now, at the same time, my brother came out to my parents' house today because they needed their water filters changed. So I'm up there, down there, watching my brother do that. So in case I have to ever do it, I can do it. So um, I go down there. And let me turn this light off in here because if I don't turn these lights off, they burn out quick. Um, anyway, I go up there. And he gets it all changed. And then she has no water pressure. And I'm like, why does she have not have water pressure? So I, thought, I better go check down here in case the water's come on. So I come down here and I don't hear nothing outside, nothing at all. And I come in here and I sit down on the side. And I don't know how you guys believe. So if you don't believe, that's fine. But uh, I said I gotta pray. I just gotta pray. So I sat down and I just said a prayer out loud. I'm like, you know, explain what was going on. I don't want to go into my prayer, but you know, help. And please don't let it bust underneath the. What comes out needs to come on, and don't let it bust underneath the floor. So I'll show you what happened. Let me stop and I'll show you. Okay, now I'm going outside my house right now, and it's nighttime, so bear with me. Going down my steps, and I'm going to show you. So I walk, my parents' house is up there. 
So I walked down here and after I went inside and said my prayer, I came out and I'm like, I'm over here, it's raining right now. And there was water all here. And see, I have corrugated metal that pins in my travel trailer. And then we have access doors. I blew my bucket because this swells and you can't lock the access door. And here's the pipe that comes up. That was just busted. Spray and water. And then under there, a part of it was busted and spray and water. And I quickly reached down in there and turned off that water valve. So, so I did bust, but it busted in two places that were very convenient. Let me go back up to my house. Very convenient that I didn't. Um, it didn't bust underneath my floor. Okay? There's my bed. My bed's not usually that. I had to take my mattress off. Let me turn it back around and talk to you. So prayer answered, you know, and my mom's after that, after I turned my water off down here, her water pressure came back and all of her filters were okay. So prayer answered immediately. Thank God. Seriously, I believe in that. If you don't, I'm sorry, but I do. I'm not sorry that I believe in it. I'm just sorry that you don't. But um, so it's been a heck of a week. I'm sore as all get up because I've had to get down and mess with my shoulders and stuff. But hey. People are having a lot worse than I am, so I'm thankful. Tomorrow, my brother, ex-brother-in-law's coming. He's going to replace that pipe. Check it out. Check and see if that... Um, yesterday, uh, yeah, we got... I checked to make sure the uh, water, the heat tape was working, so that's all good. So that's the continuing saga. Still don't have water, but it's shut off. And um, I'm going to sleep up in my mom's house tonight. She's got... I'm going to sleep in a chair up there in her bedroom. And, you know, prayers work. And thankful because I like my little house and I just want to get back down here to it. Thanks guys for watching. Give me a thumbs up. And I hope your life is going smooth. <laughs> and spring's almost here. Bye guys.